<laughs> so you both look a little different <laughs> after spending a weekend in, All those wrinkles in, have gone. Yeah, in, in yeah. Um, our past lives and um, cleared a, lot, a whole lot of stuff. Mm. How do you feel um, now compared to when you came? Did, did the workshop um, meet your expectations? Was it, you know, like what was your experience of it? Do you want to start, Diane? Um, I had no idea what to expect. I haven't had much to do with EFT or only a small bit. Um, but I knew it was something that I needed to come and do. And it, it kind of merges everything that I have been learning. And it's even piqued my interest even more in things more to come. Mm -hmm. um, I actually did go through quite a bit of stuff, um, not that I thought it would come up, although I thought it may have come up, mm -hmm. um, but it, it, just trusting myself mm. and um, making sure that, well, not making sure, but um, knowing that I, we kind of all know this, but I can actually get through it. Mm. It's not something that it's undoable or it's really difficult or I don't need drums or Mm. whatever it is it's just very simple it's very quick and it's very dynamic um mm. and the changes are and will be i'm sure very profound mm. i mean your energy now compared to when yes. you came is so different yeah and um i i from what the work we've done i see that you see a way forward now oh yeah with great joy yeah and before there was a real stuckness yeah I was actually a bit nervous about working with other people, but then again, the universe always gives us the right people yeah, the right who we people. need to work with, uh -huh. and um, it was actually a real compliment. Um, we both had issues that were similar. We're very similar, and if people think that um, this is not for them, well, then just give it a go. Mm. Mm. And and it was interesting that even though you both came such a long way, you, you yeah. actually live near each other. Yes, <laughs> we do, which yeah. is quite funny. But yeah, they, the universe never gives you anything more than you don't need. Yeah. So, and they always send you the people that you do need. So I thank you, Jenny, and I mm. thank Elaine. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes. Well, I look forward to you taking your knowledge out into the world and um, yeah, bringing forth what you've now experienced in... in uh, releasing stuff from past life that was no longer serving you yeah. and then bringing forward and activating um, more. past experiences that do serve you. Yes, and more. And, exactly. <laughs> and more. And now you can practice that and yeah. Yeah, do it more of mm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Great. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> and Elaine? Um, well, I had an, an experience, obviously, with Level 1 and Level 2 with a different teacher, but mm -hmm. um, I just felt that there was more to it than what I'd learned, mm. um, whether or not I just didn't grasp it at the time, but um, this is a different aspect of EFT, so it's, um, I just find it just encompasses more and it's, it actually gets to the nitty gritty, mm. so it's, whereas before I felt like I was kind of skirting around and uh, it's like you're actually just going and just peeling off all those layers and it's just, it's just taking out different as aspects. Um, so. I must, I must admit that the past life regression really appealed to me mm -hmm. because I, I really love that and I, I love working with that myself. Um, so that was a draw card to get me here anyway. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I just intuitively know that past life regression and hypnotherapy and EFT all work together. Mm -hmm. They're just meant to be. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't work effectively with them all unless you've actually got the other yeah. two components. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's been great. I, did, I really didn't know what to expect. I really thought, because I do a lot of meditation work with my groups, and I thought it would be a lot easier for me to go down to meditation, but I seem to be fighting it. I'm the always, first time? But the not first the time. time. I'm always looking for analysing, you know, mm. sort of reasons. Um, but yeah, so the second time, yeah, it's about accepting me mm. and not using myself as a block. Mm. to block me mm. um, and of course the first one when you were analysing and judging and criticising yourself that's what the the first one was all about we had to clear that mm. that's why it was there yes. and we cleared that yes. and then the second time you went easily the last regression too was all about appreciating who I am mm. and those skills I can actually bring forward into this life which I'm actually using anyway but actually having that uh, commitment there and that intent that 
it's not I'm not just pulling stuff out of the air it's actually past knowledge mm. and past experience mm. and it's it's usable for mm. people like when we first did the psychometry um, exercise and you were very nervous about it um, and saying oh there's the pressure now or you know what if I'm judged or criticized uh, exactly. so now when you think of doing something like psychometry how does that feel for you Great, because I, I surprised myself when I was sitting there and I thought, I really know, on a deeper level, I know I can do it. Yeah. There's this surface level that comes up and says, oh, no, you can't, mm. you know. So that's kind of, it really came home to me, sitting in that chair doing the psychometry yesterday, mm. that, wow, it just it just came and I really didn't really need the point of focus either. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Because I find when yeah. I'm doing readings, for instance, I tend to rely on my tarot cards a lot. Mm. And I've been told before by other people do you know what Ellen? why do you use those yeah why do, why do you use those yeah. you and know? so now you can just tune into yeah. somebody and ask them what is it they need to know and it will just flow mm. Mm. Yeah. And, and what about you diane when you did the psychometry you've never done i've before. never ever had done it before so i was actually very nervous and um some of the things that i did see i was debating whether i should actually say it and i thought no i'll just say it and um well, i'm glad i did mm. Um, so yeah, it brought brought back memories. Yeah, for you, were, you were very visual. Yeah, in what you saw. Yeah, and actually, like, this oh. whole weekend, my visions have been very profound. So, and I don't normally, mm. I mean, maybe intermittently, one month here, seven months down the track there, but um, nothing like what I have had the last few days. So, mm. and um, what you were saying, along with the, um, for me, past life. It's been a big thing for me. I know there's more or to all of this. It's all intermingled. And um, and that was the main reason I wanted to come do this course because I've never seen anything that's similar. I mean, hypnotherapy, timeline mm. therapy, mm. but um, it kind of incorporated everything that I just happened to stumble across these last few months. So it wasn't just by chance. So it is something that I knew that was going to get me more where I, I wanted to go mm. and so mm. I'm very grateful for you to, well, for doing this. I'm grateful for your guides for bringing you here. Yeah, <laughs> so yes. um, yeah, no, I was really um, quite amazed at it and I was saying to my husband, I can teach you and he goes, what do you mean teach you? I said, no, no, we can do it on each other or we can do it on mm. people, it's okay. So um, yeah. He, I don't even know how you ended up sending me an email to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, you get those things that come through. Yeah. And you think, where did that come from? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> and it just, when I read it, it just made more sense to do yeah. it, you know? Yeah. And uh, you know, I just thought, you know, I have to do this. I have to actually. I actually had another workshop to go to this mm -hmm. weekend who have actually been saying to me, Elaine, where are you? And I sent them an email to say that I, I would mm -hmm. do it can actually be deferred. Yeah. Uh, I just, this was my priority. Mm. Yeah. And it was enough for me that when you said you didn't know whether you'd actually be coming back here again, I thought, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that was the clincher. Yeah. I needed to hear that because mm. otherwise I probably said, oh, okay, I'll do it next time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it was meant to be. Yes, very much so. Mm. So congratulations and thank, um, thank you. go forth and spread your knowledge out to the rest of you. Yeah, we need to we practice will. on each other. Oh, yeah, we will. <laughs> do you need to practice? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Well done. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much, Jenny. Great teacher. Thank you. Thank you.